Aloha. Top of the morning, friends and family. Once a week, we upload a beautifully edited cinematic masterpiece to this channel. This video is uncut. And today's uncut video, I'm a little quiet because it's actually, I know it doesn't look like it, but it is just past six in the morning. I'm pretty sure most of my neighbors are sleeping, so I don't want to be yelling at the top of my lungs. Aloha. But in today's video, got a couple things happening. I'm going to a, um, we're going to go back upstairs to the snake room, and I'm going to show you a little closer. I think I shared it the other week, but I'll, I'll, just how tiny the snake is. We've never hatched a snake out anywhere near as tiny as this one. I'm hoping it makes it. It's a clown pied ball python, and it's just tiny. I actually weighed it. Um, I'll, we'll weigh it again when we get back up there, and you can see just how small it is. Let me know if you've ever seen a snake, a ball python in particular, this small. Also, just wanted to give an update on this tree that fell in our driveway. The driveway is clear, but I'm not sure if the guys are coming back or not. The, the owner of the house had some guys come to clear the driveway and take some of the wood. But like, first of all, look at the sky. How cool are those clouds? So awesome. There's like a little pink tinge on them a little while ago, but I, I was too late in the video to capture the pink thing because the sun's coming up and it's not pink anymore, but I thought that was pretty special. But look at this thing, man. It's just, when we're driving up, this, we're kind of driving really close to that little trunk. It's kind of still sticking out into the driveway a little bit. And I, I, I just don't know if, uh, <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna come back and do any more or what, but. This is part of it right here. This is part of the fallen tree, all that. And it's just like, it's a little ominous to be driving in because this is under the driveway, like you're underneath it as you come in the driveway. And uh, I don't know, hopefully it's just gonna stay there. It's got that crack right here. That's that branch that's doing that arcing over the driveway and that's where it attaches to. So hopefully it stays, but <laughs> I just wanna show you guys, I don't know if I really captured how massive this tree was in that video last week. The thing is just huge, dude. It's just a bee. Look at the size of the trunk. And you can see why it fell. It all rotted away on this side. Just massive, impressive tree. But that's that. Oh, while we're walking back up to the snake room, I um, wanted to give an update on myself. I have been exercising, been getting in the gym very regularly trying my best to do well with diet, which is the hardest struggle for me, and just making sure I'm eating the proper balance of nutrients and not overdoing it, which is hard. Last night wasn't so great for that, but the cool thing is, this is the first time in my life, I think, where I have, like, like last night I didn't hit the goals that I was trying to hit, but today I'm staying on, and I'm not going to, like, let it get me down to where I'm just going to fall downward spiral like oh I didn't I didn't succeed last night so here we go I was gonna give up on everything that hill's steep <laughs> um but I'm not so I'm not giving up so that feels good feels good to be okay with messing up a little bit I mean I'm ready to jump right back on this is what I see no that's not what I see I'm from, I'm back here and when I'm filming a video for you, this is what I see. A microphone above my face, a little fan above my head, and a light. So it looks like this, even though the audio is not coming out of this microphone right now. <laughs> Come out of this little thing. Ding, 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 ding. Ah, the beautiful backdrop. Thank you, sponsors. Um, so on this coming Sunday at the LA Pet Fair, we are going to have a church service on the grass outside of the Pomona Sheraton. Is it the Sheraton anymore? Anyway, the main host hotel for the Pomona show um, out on the, on the grass. If you'd like to join us, that would be awesome. 9 a.m. Sunday morning. would love to see you there. Um, just come and 
we have no expectations of anybody coming. Just come and hang out and talk. I don't even know exactly what's going to happen. I'll, I'll come up with a better plan over the next couple of days. We'll definitely have a uh, guitar, some music, and we'll just go through the word and, and just see where everybody's at, really, that shows up. We're going to kind of leave it open in that way. But let's take a look at this snake. Just, I wanted to make sure I invited you because I would love to see you there. Okay, snake, 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 snake. Princess, her awesome clutch. And they're, they're all kind of in shed. So what I've been doing is I've been leaving them with mom until they shed. So they're all kind of in shed right now, forming those new layers of skin underneath the old original egg skin, that shiny, shiny egg skin that anybody who hatches out ball pythons is very familiar with. You can kind of see it. In fact, when I'm at a show and I, I see a snake that still has its egg skin on and it's on somebody's table for sale, I'm kind of like, oh, that's a bummer, man. It just seems, to me, that's too early to bring a snake to sell at a show. Like, but it's just kind of that look. You look at it and you're like, that's egg skin. It's super shiny and slimy looking. All right, where are you at, little, little munchkin? Just getting crushed beneath mom. I mean, I guess all these little snakes are getting crushed beneath mom, but here, let's take a look before we weigh her or him. Let's take a look. Like, here's two uh, normal, normal ish sized snakes right there out of mom. That's pretty normal size for a ball python hatchling. And then let's compare just visually the, the tiny little runty baby who looks. Healthy tongue is flicking like other than the size. Looks like a pretty healthy snake. But look at the look at the size difference. Like you just see the girth on this snake versus and he's all kind of bunched up right now versus like spread out. But it's just so much smaller and they're very squirmy and hard to you know let's do a head side by side comparison. There you go. You can just see the difference in the size of the heads alone. It's like a pretty drastic difference in size, if you ask me. Pretty wild, super small, just kind of blown away. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it was. My guess is that like one of the eggs was got a little extra heated. But as I grab all these eggshells, I'm not feeling um, any extra yolk kept inside. So I don't, I'm not sure. Just something that happens sometimes, I guess. Let's grab the scale and see what happens. As far as the weight, I'm going to use scale. Creep around the cone, creep around the cone, creep around the cone, creep around the cone here. All right, let's have a look see. You stay in there. Don't go crawling into my light fixture. You scale. Flip around here. Don't mind my scale, it's a little bit dirty. I haven't used it in quite some time. I don't do a lot of weighing of snakes anymore. All right. Here we go. Can you see that? There we go. All right, Snakey, let's set you on there. See where you're at. 17 grams. I think the smallest snake I've ever seen in person that had hatched was 14 grams, I think. So not the smallest snake I've seen, but it's 100% by 100% by 100% the, the smallest snake I've ever had. Just so tiny. Such a little biscuit. A little pipsqueak, if you will. Man, wow. So small. I kind of want to put a quarter next to. Do I have a coin hanging out in here? Nope, I'm broke. Got no money in my pockets. No coins to set next to her, him. Oh! No, that's a, I, don't know, I feel like a quarter is something that's more, how about a guitar pick? Here, I'm like two things that people might find recognizable versus uh, money. I, I know money is a very common use for size comparison, but what I do have is a CR2032 battery and a standard Dunlop guitar pick. So for all you electrician guitar players. This should be a good comparison thing. 
Let's have a look here. Look. <laughs> it's just it just blows me away. I don't know why I find it so incredible, but I just do. This how tiny this snake is. Yeah, a little 2032 battery. Look at that guitar. The guitar pick is like three times the size of her head. No, not twice the size of her head. Man, that is that is just amazing. Anyway. Hope y'all are having a great day, whatever you're doing. Hope to see you at the LA Pet Fair all weekend, but specifically on Sunday morning. It'd be great. Take care of yourself, take care of each other, and we'll see you on the next video, which is actually that video that I said I would do of um, everybody. Good, you stayed in there. Everybody, uh, not everybody, sorry, got distracted. Me ripping apart pictures on Morph Market in a semi-tasteful way and hopefully offering tips and advice to those pi pictures the people of, of the pictures who were taken oh my gosh i should stop talking i'll see you guys later bye